Hello, hello, hello. I'm Alcar Night Raven. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my next retro review. And today I'm looking at from Transformer Cybertron Supreme Size Starscream. And this is a beast. Um transforms just like the uh, Voyager size. Um it's what I'm assuming his size was, so that's what I'm gonna call it is Voyager size. Um but with a few slight differences because it is bigger. Now, he does come with his cyber key, and he actually came with the um, Earth cyber key with the gold around, um, the one that they were looking hunting down in the show as well. Um, I sort of tossed that aside because I only needed one. <laughs> but, yeah, his typical plain Decepticon cyber key. With the translucent clear, purple Decepticon symbol, silver around, and of course, his code. And please do forgive me, I am still feeling a little ill, so if my voice sounds cracks a couple of times or anything like that, um, just bear with me. But another accessory he comes with is his crown. Yep, gotta have his crown. Mine got a little bent. It was worse than this. It has, like, uh, uh, readjusted itself over time. But, gotta have his crown. And you can fit it in this mode. In fact, it in the show, when he is this gigantic size, <clears throat> he does have the crown on at all times. So... I will keep it on now, for now, and then uh, when in robot mode, we'll show you what his head looks like without it. But, gotta have his crown. We know Starscream. He's a drama queen. <laughs> but, yeah. Otherwise, you know, it's, like I, I said with the other, is it's my favorite um, design of Starscream. And you can see that my wing, this wing, is gotten a little out of shape so oh, maybe I can fix that but looks good it's very nice love this sort of uh, metallic red going along we got the gray a bit of gold here translucent purple on his window windshield windscreen whatever you want to call it a little bit of gold here of course, it's got the wheels, so he rolls rather nicely. Some translucent red. Or no, that's actually a nice bright red. There's some translucent red here. I thought that was translucent for the longest time, but that's actually just more of a metallic red. There's the back. Here's this side. And the bottom. Whatever you can see of it. He's a big boy. And unlike the Voyager size, these do actually move on this one. And you can adjust this however you want. I just I prefer to keep it like in a more neutral, natural position. <clears throat> Except please forgive um, my voice cracking, coughing, anything like that. Um, I'm working on doing better. I I will at times when I need to uh, pause my recording so you don't have to hear it and then I'll come back so please forgive me on that alright now any other articulation the wings here can move up and down like that very nice uh, uh, thoop points so excellent and um, you can actually on the Voyager this was what took his blades out well you can use it as storage for his cyber key because with him it's one on each for his uh, weapons on his arms but we'll keep this out for now you can see it's more of that nice metallic red on those vents too but just the detail work looks great some more translucent purple in here and do forgive the uh, the dust need to do major cleanup with uh, some of my shelves <laughs> gets hard when you're working and everything you know but I 
think that is going to be it. Uh, this should be staying together rather nicely. There we go. But that is going to be it for his vehicle mode. So let's get to robot mode. And I'm going to be huffing and puffing in this one. Because <laughs> he is a uh, heavy boy. So let's raise you up. And first thing we're going to do. We're going to. Just like we would on the Voyager. It's honestly the same transformation as on the Voyager. There's just a slight few differences. Okay, we want to separate these pieces and these. There we go. And then, one, two. Come on. Thing. We want to bring out this one, fold in that one. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Come on, get out of there! Get out of there, dang it! What's catching? All right, bring up that foot. Bring out the heel. Fold in the tip of the. Here's one thing that's different compared to the Voyager. Is this is actually going to fold up and then we can straighten him out and there's his legs all done said big boy now there we go bring, bring us down and there we can see his head bring the arms back in rotate back in rotate Untab the arm, tab it there, untab the arm, tab it there, and the final bit, separate this, whoops, luckily that just pops back in, rotate that back down, and there we go, there is Supreme Class Starscream. In all of his glory. And he is a big boy. <laughs> yeah. So let's take a look at that big at that big old head. Big old head. You can see. Very nice. And again, pardon the dust. Ugh. I'm s I gotta do better on cleaning. But uh yeah. Some of that is in place I can't reach, but we'll take off the crown for now. And honestly, like this figure <clears throat> doesn't look right without his crown compared to the Voyager size figure. And it's just, you know, in the show, when Starscream obtains the power to become this size or become the gigantic size he is, he creates the crown and that's all you see him in when he's that size or bigger. But great great detail um don't think the eye yeah the the eyes are so dark i don't think you can see honestly what oh no there they are so yeah translucent purple on the eyes however what's a bummer is there is no light piping it would have been nice to have light piping or you know with how large it is maybe even um just a button for lights would have been cool. Got that nice white star screamy face. Silver on his head vents. Silver up here on the top of his head. And yeah. Um, articulation. Head can rotate all the way around. There's no up or down or wiggle. Uh, when you add the crown. He only moves that far. Which I mean really should be all the further uh, humanoid needs. I mean, we can't spin our head 360 degrees after all. <laughs> Arms. Can't really. There we go. Come out, like, about that far. You just gotta, you gotta, you gotta angle them. 
in weird places. They do rotate. No bicep swivel. We do have 90 on the elbow and nothing for the wrist. Nothing at the waist. We're actually, no. Yeah, no, nothing at the waist. I thought that could move a little bit, but I guess I was wrong. We do have a kind of thigh swivel, but it's just above the knee. Knee has full range due to transformation, so very nice on that. And then foot just moves up and down, and then you can move the heel up and down. And now, of course, for his weapons, so we'll plug in on this side. Again, we plug it in up here. And when we plug it in, big old sword. Nice translucent purple on that. I would have loved like some green because that bubble was green. Like that would have been nice on the Voyager size one as well. This side, however, changed after he obtained more power. So it's the same spot to plug into. And instead of another sword on this side, he has a cannon. And it is a big beast of a cannon. So <clears throat> there he is with his weapons out. And his cannon actually does fire. Oops. <coughs> Bring this in. Where are we at here? Uh, let me see. I'm trying to remember. Oh, there it is. So, just like that. <laughs> and this little translucent purple missile. So, just... Yeah, so just plug that in and then push forward. Works just like that. Yeah. And uh, one thing that they they did that was kind of nice, um, it sort of helps just to prevent any breakage, is they did make it so these, wow, I think this one was the easier one, yeah, so they would pop off just in case, um, and then they, you could just pop them back on on those mushroom pegs, so very, very good engineering with Hasbro on that, um, Like, honestly, with the Legacy line, I, I would love to see uh, the Voyager glass uh, transform Cybertron Starscream, but I would love to see the Supreme size. Or with with uh, really no Supreme class anymore, it's now, like, I think the Titan, but, like, a Titan size of, of him. Like, that would be awesome. <laughs> and, yeah, there isn't really much more to him. I mean, it's just a much upscaled and actually hold on let me grab the so here is his regular size so you can kind of see try and get a better there we go but you can see the size difference so yeah it's uh definitely i think uh was worth it especially the fact that it did end up you know being a part of the show storyline it was so cool um you know to see starscream at, at one point obtain supreme power and um kind of uh not fully overthrow megatron but like obtain his own army so yeah, very cool on that. Um, but yeah, like I said, with Transformers Legacy, I would love to see him. And then in that size, but since they don't have Supreme Class size anymore, to see him in Titan Class. I think that would be awesome. But him definitely still like in Voyager. Like I would love to see updates with these molds. 
my my favorite iteration of Starscream. Like, not really from the show as much, more from the way he looks. Like, I love his jet mode. I love his robot mode. He looks so menacing. It's just I wish there was more to his articulation and all of that. So, Hasbro, if you're listening, Legacy Line has so much potential. So much potential. Please, please, like, delve into older, like, much older than you've already been del- delving into. Like, I know you're doing, they're doing a lot of G1. Absolutely love that. <coughs> Looking forward to the combiners from G1. And we're seeing a couple from Transformers Prime. But, like, let's see, from Transformers Armada, from Prime... For, or not Prime, uh, from Cybertron besides just Metroplex, which I am looking forward to. I know there's a lot of people giving that hate, and it's like, come on, give it a chance. You know, right now it's just a leak. We don't know if uh, that's completely, well, it might be completely confirmed by now. But, uh, but yeah, I would love to see more from Cybertron, more from Armada. Energon, I couldn't really care about. There's not really that many from Energon. There are a few molds that are great from Energon, but that show was such a disaster. The toy line was such a disaster. But I would love to see updated molds from Robots in Disguise 2001. Or no, 2000. Yeah, 2001, because it was Car Robots 2000. Um, you know, I know we're going to see. Uh, Season 3 Beast Wars with uh, the Dragon Megatron. So, so yeah, I would love to see these two in Legacy get get upgrades, upgraded for, or uh, upgraded designs. So, yeah, that is going to be it. Let's keep him in. <laughs> with Big Papa. <laughs> but that is going to be it for Supreme Class Starscream. Again, awesome figure still love it love the design like he is so huge and menacing um definitely recommend hunting him down it's probably going to cost quite a bit if you're looking for him i mean i am not going to uh lie and say oh it'll be no like these figures are getting harder and harder to find at decent prices like i think the uh Galaxy Force Megalo Convoy, which is uh, the Metroplex. I think he's running almost a thousand dollars that I've seen for brand new on eBay, and they're they're hard to find. They're not that easy to find. So if you are looking for them, I hope you do find them. Um, I know with summer coming up, we're going to be seeing uh, garage sales, yard sales. Keep an eye out on those. I have seen people pick up some of the most amazing Transformers finds at garage sales and yard sales, like. Go to as many as you can, especially ones that look like they have a whole bunch of uh, toys and older toys and stuff. Because you're gonna f- you're gonna find people selling off stuff that they have no idea what they're <laughs> what they're selling. So it's coming up soon. We're 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 getting close to that that garage sale yard sale season. So I'm definitely gonna be checking my areas once it starts hitting, see what I can find. But that is going to be it for me on supreme class star starscream so i hope you got some good information on this i hope you enjoyed seeing this big old beast of a boy this uh this king amongst decepticons (laughs) and yeah so there we go so thank you for watching please like comment subscribe and i'll see you all later